Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I am going to be doing a chit chat, get ready with me. Um, I have plans today with Dre and Tina. We have reservations for a restaurant at six at Magic Hour. The last time we were there is when we was there for New Year's week. Um, and that's when we stayed at the Moxie Hotel. Magic Hour is a part of the hotel or affiliate. So last time we went there, we had shrimp tacos and they were amazing. So we decided, well, Tina wanted to go back. So now we're going back there today. So we're gonna be in the city. I, I have to get ready within two hours. I'm trying to be out of this house by two o'clock and it's 12.23, okay, great. So I just washed my face and now I'm about to do a little mini prep before I put any makeup on. I'm just gonna moisturize it a little bit. So I have this light patch right here that sometimes develops i don't know what it is and where it comes from but i use this cream called clotrimazole and i think that you can only get this prescribed by um your doctor skin doctor i forgot what that's called a uh, dermatologist so I just put it there and if I do it for three days straight then it goes away and then it comes back a couple of months later. I don't know what, why it does that but I am going to go to a dermatologist to see what's going on with that. The reason I was able to have access to this product is because my mom went to a dermatologist and she recommend, recommended me using this cream. So she gave me one and I've been using it for years and does wonders and it lasted me this long because this only happens once in a while so I just put it on areas where you know I want my skin to smooth out or heal I don't think I have any more but this is the soothing alloy mist and I just spray that over my face to see if it's like a little squinch left there is okay good so that's by elf and I think the main reason that I got it though was because the bottle was just pretty to me. It's clear. Anything that's like super plain or clear is pretty to me. And then next I am going to be using the Jelly Booster by Truly. Um, this stuff is amazing. I don't know if I want to do a video about it but my underarms are really dark. And um, it's dark from me shaving for so many years. And so that created um, hyperpigmentation. And so for a long time, I was looking for different things for me to help cure my hyperpigmentation from all the shaving that I was doing because I was messing up my skin. And my wax lady, we've been working on exfoliating my skin and you know, just getting waxed so I have not shaved at all. But it's just not going as fast as I want it to be. So I did my own research and that's where I found Truly. I did, I looked at a couple of YouTube videos. But anyways, um, I had a pimple that I popped, so I just put it there. And this right here developed, this spot right here developed in Miami. I think that I had a little, I think my skin burnt a little bit in that spot. So I'm just putting it there, just lighten it up if need to be. Um, but that product cost me $28, which is reasonable. So I don't know where any of my moisturizers, moisturizers are, so I'm just gonna go and use my Nivea. I know that's not good for your skin, it's really not, but I have to just do it for today. I have been neglecting my skincare routine for a couple weeks now, which is why my skin is not how it normally is. So this week, is it Sunday? Well, tomorrow I have plans, so I probably won't be able to do it. Maybe I get up early. Tomorrow morning, I'm gonna do my skincare routine. Um, self care Sunday. Especially if I'm wearing makeup today, I need to do that tomorrow. So, yeah. All right. So that is moisturized. All right, so now we can get into the makeup. So I'm gonna brush up my eyebrows. 
it's starting to the color starting to come back in I dyed my hair this brown color because I was over that blonde to be honest I want to dye it black but I'm thinking about dyeing my hair burgundy next month so it didn't make sense for me to dye it black and then just to dye it again next month so I guess I'll just deal with the color for now even though I don't like it I don't like this color on me it doesn't do anything for me you know well I think it doesn't do anything for me so so it is Memorial weekend and it's gonna be raining all weekend and that sucks um that really sucks it's like been it's been a beautiful week and then soon as we're all for the weekend and one string the weather is just being a huge hater okay so next i am going to be doing my eyebrows and probably zoom that up for you guys um i use a small little palette that comes with the powder the cream and the stick um i don't remember who this is by i don't remember who it's by but you can find it at your local drugstore i know that for sure so i'm gonna do that you know what i'm gonna do my brows not off camera but i'm gonna speed it up so annoying so now my brows are done i'm gonna blend them out more guys don't worry about that but now i am going to prime my lids with the urban decay primer the eyeshadow primer i haven't used this in so long i remember when like back in 2010 and up like priming and urban decay was popping at the time everybody was using their products now it's like Fenty and all these different new brands, Rare Beauty, J-Lo got a line out. Um, but I like to stick with the ones that was here from the beginning. So like Urban Decay, NARS, MAC, like those will always be the OG um, cosmetics, cosmetic companies. Everything else is like, yeah, they're nice and stuff, but it's kind of like furniture. You know, you have that old school furniture that lasts you for years and never messes up. And then you got new, you know, the new school furniture and everything's cheap. And not saying that this new stuff that's out is cheap because Rihanna's product and whatnot is good. But, you know, Mac, that's, you're thinking about longevity here, people. So now I'm going to be adding more of my concealer, but I'm just going to add it to my lid just as a base. If I want to add any colors, I think, you know what I am. I think I'm going to add like, I'm going to do a smoky eye today because I know I have a tan. So I might have to get a little bit of a darker foundation because of my tan. I gotta get some. I need to really get like my summertime makeup and my winter makeup because I lighten up in the winter and I get a tan during the summer. So I need to do that next. I just haven't gotten around to it. But yeah. I think my second piercing is completely healed i'm hoping i can take it out now um it's been a couple of months i don't remember which month i got it but i know it's been a couple of months i think i got it maybe in february so i'm hoping i can take it out by now because i don't like to sleep with earrings on but i've been doing it for the past couple of months so i can let this thing heal it's been irritating me 
All right, so now I'm going to be using my naked my naked palette. This is an old palette. I don't remember which one this is. A kind of like a messy look for my eyes. I don't want everything to be so cut and precise. I want like blending. That is that little wing. That's cute. So there's like a a bottom wing. So I'm gonna leave it like that. And that is it for the eyes. I'm not gonna add anything else. Only thing I'm gonna have to add is lashes. So and mascara, which I cannot find. I'm just gonna apply that in different spots of my face. blend I need to wet it a little bit that was crazy you didn't wet your brush there we go look how fast look blend beauty blender takes forever bam blend and then just bring it down a little bit to my neck my neck looks too dumb <laughs> okay all right that's done you see i get i get more energetic and happy when my foundation is on because then that's why i know it's almost over we've almost made it where's my concealer i found it now i'm gonna go in with my nars concealer and i'm just gonna add that under my eye and then i'm gonna go back in with my real techniques brush all the brushes that i use are by Rose Techniques. They just, it's the best brushes. I don't care what anybody else has to say. I do want to try Morphe. I think I've tried it once before. It didn't really do anything for me, but I'll give, I guess I'll give it another go. But Real Techniques is just the best. Look, look how fast that blends. I'm in my See how fast that was? Amazing. Okay, now we gonna we gonna let that bake a little. Okay, and then I'm gonna be using the Urban Decay All Nighter Waterproof Setting Powder. That's what it looks like, and I'm just gonna dab that in there. We ain't done yet. Now we gotta go in and we gotta add our bronzer. And we also gotta add our our um our blush. So I'm gonna be using this bronzer that I use by Beauty Treats called Perfect Face Trio in the color Peach. And I use this one. I've had this for literally over um, six years. I got it from Five Below, y'all. Five Below. It's the only bronzer that just does me what I need it to do. Like, look at that. For my skin complexion. I need to, but I do need to invest in experiment and look up different bronzers that I'm pretty sure it'll be a little bit more pigment, uh, more, uh, have better pigmentation than this one. Because this is not that pigmented. You have to like, apply some coverage on it unless you're like light skin or or if you're white it definitely will show then but you know i'm a brown girl so <sighs> with our skin we have to apply more product so i'm going to be taking my real techniques and i am going to be using my only blush that i will ever use and it's by vera mar and vera mar and it's in the color calypso and I just go ham with this blush. It's just so pretty. How pretty that is, y'all. Oh! 
Yes, sir. I found another lash. Hey. Let's get it. Let's get it. Let's get it. Let's get it. Just want to put a little bit on. And then we're going to add. You know what? I'm not even going to add lashes. We're going to do my real lashes. Yeah, let's do that. Because having fake lashes on be annoying. Boom. And that completes that look. So now I just need to straighten my hair and pick up my outfit. So I think I need to figure out what type of um, outfit I wanna wear. I mean, I think I already know um, what outfit I wanna wear. So let's just brush the hair. I cut it um, to layer it. I will okay, just want to cut it like this, y'all. Like, hold on. Yeah, which I think. Short hair. I don't know. Maybe I should leave it. I don't think about it. I'm not going to cut it. That looked a mess. I need black hair for that short hair style. That's what it is. Ooh. Yeah, hear them nigga naps. Ooh. This is what it's looking like. All right, so now I need to go find my pants and a top. I'm going to wear with this outfit. So I am going to do that off camera. I'll be back. Okay. So while I was off camera, I found an outfit. So I'll show you guys later when I'm actually out so you can see a full body. But now I am about to finish my look and I'm just going to add the Beauty Brownie lipstick, matte lipstick in the color, um, date night. And I don't know, do you guys think the red is too much? I gotta ask my sister. I feel like the red might be too much now. What you guys think? I think the red is too much. I'm gonna call my sister and ask her, hold on. Okay, I did my makeup, right? Um, do you think the red is too much? I don't know, it's a lot. It's not a lot, I have one black eyeshadow. I know, but it looks like a lot. I don't know if it's the lips or the eyeshadow. I think it's the lipstick because before I had it on, it was fine. I think I'm gonna do a nude lip instead of red lip. Okay, bye. I'll call you right back. I hate when people are just like, there's a lot going on. Just say one or the other. Okay, I'm back. When I say it was a war taking off that lipstick, it was a war. And my battery is dying, so... Ugh. It was a war taking off that lipstick, y'all. My battery is dying. I'll be right back. Okay. All right. Thank goodness I have like four different chargers and I had the other one on standby. All right, so because the eye is just a lot of stuff, I'm just gonna do a very nude look. So I am going to take my, my brown lip liner and just line my lips up. i sharpen it. I'm like too lazy to get um, a pencil sharpener right now though. Oh God, I almost broke my back. Then I am gonna go in with the Beauty Brownie lipstick in the color you're nude and just use this as an outliner not as a color over that brown boom and then I am gonna go in with the Pixie. Uh, I don't know if it's, yeah, so this is the Lap Liquid Lip in the color Matte Beige. Not 
coming out the way I want it to. to get um more eyelash glue and then i gotta do this crazy hair mine i am going i'm going over time so i'm gonna hurry up and do this real quick It's just a lot going on. This hair is a mess. This makeup. I don't know how I feel about it. But. Uh, ain't nothing I can do about it now. You're going to have to like it. I see a little. I see it getting a little dark. So. That's why it means my roots are shining and cold back in. Just let me be in your life. Okay, I think that's kind of cute. Um, I kind of like that. Alright, so I guess that's the look for today. I hope you guys like it. Um, I did not plan on doing a bang or anything today, but my hair was looking the best, so that's the best that we can do. But yeah, this is the final look. I hope you guys enjoyed this. Get ready with me. I don't know. Okay, we good to go, y'all? Yes, we're ready to go. I'm tired of these masks. Me too. Alright, so now we're at the train station. Um, trying to get to our reservation that says 6. Mind you, it's already 6.05. So hopefully they still take us. Um, Sorry, yeah. The lovely ladies of this evening. Hello. Yeah, Miss Latina. Please make sure you show my right, my good side. And, okay, and then we just have this this <laughs> cycle mania. Anyways. Okay, because I will have copy have copyrighted. I'm sorry. Yes, my hat. Yes. So now we're waiting for the train. So let's see you guys. Let me get there. Go push the doors. There's no door to push. <laughs> Sorry about your piece, sweetheart. Can I take it to Sure. Thank you. All of it should be his shoulder. Just wait right here. Okay. Problem done. Can I take it I'm good, thank you. Good. <laughs> All right, ladies, first, welcome. Um, when the elevator comes back down, um, please face the back of the elevator. Mm -hmm. This elevator side right here won't open when you get upstairs. Okay. 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 Um, when you get upstairs, there'll be someone waiting for you. Oh. Have a great day and hope you guys enjoy it. Right? Thank you. Come on in. Thank you. Yeah, I feel like I got those in here. Thank you. If you guys decide to leave, you'll press one mm -hmm. and go straight down the red wall. Okay. Thank you. Thank you.
We was late for our reservation. We're an hour late and they still let us come. Let me not oh, oh. They let us come anyway, so I'm happy about that. So we can have the shrimp taco. We made it. She's we like, outside. It's funny how excited you about shrimp tacos. I'm like, which alcohol is it? I think one of y'all recorded me saying, oh, you're not going to have, you're not going to come in. I don't think we did. Oh, let me put my mask up because they're probably going to be like, mask. No, he's back and he's enough. Oh, okay. Hello. Hi, how are you doing? Good. Table for who? Uh, Christine, Christian. Christine? Yes. Okay. Please follow. Thank you. Thank you. good time we were able to um, meet some new people and have conversations it was nice would you like to speak about your experience here so far yeah meeting the people was good but towards the end no no because our waiter kind of just like kicked us out not really kicked us out but you know what it is that's like so so now we're about to go to the next spot Shouldn't be no 